Tonight, the search continues in northwestern Wisconsin for a missing Odana man after he rolled his own vehicle in a crash early Friday morning. Now, according to the Ashland County Sheriff's Office, this man, 32-year-old Kevin Rosen, is believed to have been involved in that crash. When officers arrived at the scene on Friday morning, they found a vehicle on its roof, but Rosen was not around. It is believed that Rosen left the area after the crash. His cell phone was recovered at the scene, but he has not been heard from since. The Ashland County Sheriff's office says initial reports indicate that alcohol could have been a factor in this accident. Now today several law enforcement agencies along with 100 volunteers are still searching for Rosen three days later and as CBS 3's John Cardinelli found out the search so far has not been easy. At the intersection of Airport and Holmes Road in Ashland, dozens of cars lined the street Sunday afternoon as the search for Kevin Rosen continued. Um, we've had people searching, we've had air support um, today three helicopters and a fixed wing from um, State Patrol, um, Air Force, and uh, uh, private helicopters as well. The Ashland County Sheriff's Department says they've searched nearly 20 square miles to find Rosen. So far, very little evidence has been recovered that can direct law enforcement to his whereabouts. Kevin had been sighted on this trail cam, so we focused on that area yesterday. Um, we're still continuing in that area and in, in, in this current area. Along with the help of several law enforcement agencies, around 100 volunteers from the community are also helping aid the search. Every group of volunteer has a, a team leader of law enforcement going with them, so the safety of them um, getting in and out of the woods. But according to those close with Rosen, the search has not been easy. It's a close community, and it shows. After everything Friday, 2, 3 o'clock, 50 cars here. Still wasn't able to do nothing, though. We weren't allowed to do this. We weren't, weren't allowed to do that from the police department. Valuable time wasted. Pat Big Boy, who is close with Rosen, says the collaboration and communication between the volunteer group and law enforcement has been minimal, especially when the search first started. Airplanes were coming. The next day we're told they're not coming. I mean, there was a lot of, lot of things that were supposed to happen that didn't happen. And it's still ongoing. Now, today, you know, now there's a lot of movement out there. Now we have the planes that we need. While the search has had its challenges, the hope to bring Rosen home safe is still on the horizon. Never give up. He's a strong kid. You know. Now, if you've had any information about Rosen's whereabouts, please contact the Ashland County Sheriff's Office. We have a link to their information on our website, cbs3duluth.com.